Log Talk Radio. Calling all stations. Clear the air lanes. Clear all air lanes for the big broadcast. Your host, as always, H U nine one one anonymous. Now today we're kind of having a special, along with some uh, technical difficulties, specifically internet related. We don't have any music because this uh, episode is going to be uploaded to YouTube, and we're going to be worrying about their copyright bullshit. So today this episode was uh, a Christmas special. Uh, news, anything like that. We're also accepting uh, callers for this episode. If you call in the last one, too. But I'm just going to speak my mind. Since there's no one here, I'm just going to talk. I'm scared of giving. Giving and getting and shit in between. Like, for example, this new fancy-ass laptop I got today. That's kind of like, that's a no, I know it's like bragging, but who really gives a damn? I just, if anyone wants to come in, call the number. We don't care. I don't really give a damn. But I know what are we going to do these days. And also, this episode was about a Christmas special and what Christmas was about. Before all this terrorist bullshit comes into play. So we will talk about whatever we want If when we get uh, guests with us. I don't know if there's going to be any. I invite a few. No guarantee that they will come, though, because some don't come, some don't come. And I don't know. Nothing is guaranteed on this show. Nothing is ever guaranteed on Honest Radio. And that's been proven over the years. Well, proven over the one year this show has been in existence and the five years that my YouTube channel has also been in existence. Also, a Patreon. W, it's patreon.com forward slash anonymous radio. The, uh, I'm going to be putting the link on my Twitter page, my handle, HU911Anonymous, same, same as the uh, name of the show, but I changed the show's name. We changed the show's name a long time ago. So I don't know what we're going to do on this special edition. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, we got Bo. Hey, Bo, how you doing? What's going on? You you are live. Yeah, I'm doing good. Right. We are talking, well, I will ask. Well, one number, I think, she can, or princess, give or take. What's up? Uh, can, can you guys hear me? You are live, all one. I can hear you, yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. All right, you. perfect. I can hear you good and well. Hey, Bo, I got a new this laptop. This is my first time using this. Using this device, so all right, fantastic. Yeah, well, I'm here for the show. This is uh, Shin calling in yeah, from Phoenix. You are here. Happy Saturday, Saturday Alley, everybody. Yep. Right. Happy Saturday yeah, to you Bo, too. Yeah, I got a new friggin' Wait, what? laptop. I got a new friggin'. <laughs> I said Happy I, Saturday Remember I told Alley. you about? What? Next You're breaking up, dude. 
Yeah, I got What's a going new on? laptop. We're having some. Uh, we're having some. I swear, it's got to be your internet, dude. It's got to be your internet yeah. service. Yeah, it's the. Or no, maybe it's, it's your probably router. My, probably my. Yeah, maybe that, but we'll have to get on. When's the last time you bought a router? Okay. Uh, it's a it's a Cisco brand. It's a Cisco. It's only like a few feet away from me. It's only like yeah, but when when did you four, get it? How old is it? Five feet away. How long How ago? Is... About a few months yeah. back. About a few months. Back. Really? That's all the older it is. Like... Yeah. Because yeah, to me, it sounds like packet loss is what your problem is. You're getting like major packet loss. Packet loss. I wonder if you have interference. Wait, or let me outside of your house. Let me check out something. Uh, let me go to network settings. Let me okay. let me go to network settings. Thankfully, this uh, this laptop also has Bluetooth. I use the this Bluetooth is the IT as episode, a. Yeah, this is the IT episode, but I'm still talking to you guys at the same time. We now we are going to talk about the Christmas stuff. Now, what was Christmas like back in the Bo Hotchkiss and Cameron Fraud days? The Cameron what was Fraud Christmas like then. Don't call me a fraud. Come on, man. You're Anyways, a fraud, dude. I didn't know you were a fraud. Fraudulent. Why didn't you tell me you're a fraud? Uh, because you have to hide your Nazi heritage somehow. You know, me being white. <laughs> Right. Somehow I'm that's a right. fucking racist bigot. So yeah, that's that's why I'm a big fraud. I'm, uh, I'm only <laughs> partly racist. I, I'm I'm actually a mutt. I'm a mongoloid, uh, Caucasoid mix. So I'm only part racist. I guess if you're a Caucasoid, you have to be racist. But only part right. of me is Caucasoid. Does that mean I'm only part racist? Right. Close enough. I guess we could say. Uh, no, I actually, uh, I was joining this Christmas episode, uh, to celebrate and enjoy Christmas. Everybody have a good fucking Christmas? Yeah. Well, sort of. Cool. I mean, my, uh, everybody in this house has a cold. Or is recovering from, like, a fluish cold thing. So, that's a if I sound a little Christmas. nasally, that's why, yeah. Well, I mean, that that much of it sucks. But, like, the kids got fucking a shitload of awesome gifts and stuff. Um, my boss from work actually came by when I was, when I called off sick one day, he actually came by and brought an old, like, uh, 90s keyboard, uh, but mm. it was like, it's a professional keyboard, right? Um, so it's a full 88 key, weighted keys, everything, it's nice. He brought it and gave it to me for free. That's a good guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's a good guy. I, I love Owen. He's awesome. But um, so he gave me that, and so what I said what I would do, and this worked out perfectly, because uh, Christmas Eve, we waited for my son to go to sleep, because he always wants to play keyboards and stuff, but every time he messes around on no, one no. of my keyboards, right, he, he, goes straight to the, he, goes, he goes straight to the fucking sound effects, so he, and then he like leans his arm on it, so it's like 40 dogs barking at once, and it, so this keyboard yeah. is perfect. Because it has like five uh-huh. sounds, and they're all they're all piano instruments, and so what we oh, did shit, we, we got a, we got a host into the his show. room, and we put oh, the, the back. Show that... <laughs> oh shit! All right, and better right, now or what? What's up, host? All right, what's am I going back on or can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can oh, hear, I can you. hear yeah. you. You're perfect. I can hear you. Clear I can now. hear you. Good. Yeah. What, yeah. what there, did you change? There we go. Uh, I went to my main. Uh, Main that stuff. Oh, no, it's so back. much better. Just so much is it really? Now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Weird. Now, hey, so Bo, is how's it just the, my uh, so much how's better. The, uh, how's the hey Bo? How's the uh, trying to make a theme song for Anonymous Radio Think project going on? Fuck, dude! I've been sick for over a week. So I haven't yeah, done anything, even with my own fucking all band. That Scott's been all over my ass about it, and I've been like, dude, fuck off. I'm sick. I can't even sing because I sound all nasally. 
You know what I got for Christmas? That I can't even use whining. what I got for Christmas. I got that a needs pop to filter. Stop whining. And I got, got a, a uh, I got a pop filter what? for my microphone. Nice. A pop filter, right? And then I also got a, a sound absorbing screen that goes behind the microphone. Oh no! So that, you know when you sing, it doesn't echo throughout the room. All right. You know Bo, you can this has been our podcast, theme right? song for a long. This has been our theme song. This has been the theme. Okay. Wait a sec. Damn it! Come on, play it. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Calling all stations. Clear the air lanes. Clear all air lanes for the big broadcast. It's been the theme for like a long time. I call yeah, it I the Spenguli theme song. Spenguli? Yeah, it's only the. Uh... Is Shin still yeah, here? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Shin. Oh, okay. So here, yeah. The only theme song I could have copyrighted. So, mm-hmm. Shane, what did you do for It's not Christmas? like full copyright. I enjoyed Ugh. Christmas Day yeah. playing Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation 4. Nice. I haven't played oh, he got himself dude. a new PS4. Over a year. Dude. He got himself a new PS4. I got to I gotta invite you. I got to invite you to... Do you want to be a part of the crew? Because I have a crew. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, are you a the CEO bo- or the crew something is- like that? Or? Oh. The what? crew is called the Bo Hotchkiss Yeah, just invite crew. me in. That's what it's called. All right. It's called the Masters <laughs> yeah. of Anarchy. All right? <laughs> and uh, makes, I, yeah, I designed the logo the and everything. That's the, so, what's it look like? Because that, that crew makes a statement. That's a statement it's awesome, right there. The logo fucking I got, I got came buddy. together so well. I got a buddy. <laughs> I got a buddy. This is fucking yeah. hilarious. I was playing yeah. earlier. This is the thing about Grand Theft Auto. It's all hilarious. I got a buddy that that created a uh, a company called I Love Drugs. <laughs> He's the CEO <laughs> of I Love Drugs on GTA. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh. drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't been on weird. I haven't been on GTA Five online for oh god, probably yeah. a few months now. Um, and answer. honestly, hey, Bo, even uh, even then, like when I had uh, when my daughter was born, yeah. I had to like stop playing online games for like the first year. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you Bo, can't, especially with Grand Theft Auto, because they had just come mm-hmm. out with heists, and with heists, dude, you have to be there for like a couple hours. And yeah, you, you have to be invest. like that sucks. Yeah. So like when you have a newborn, you're like every fucking ten, fifteen minutes, it's like get over here and help me. So yeah, I mean, you hey, can't. Did you hear about the, uh, going, Why did I come in here? Why well, did I come in here? Come on, dude. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> did totally you hear about kidding. the totally uh, fake news thing? Uh, hey, Bo, do you hear about the fake oh, news thing about, about uh, We Are Change? <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. hear about that? <laughs> yeah, you sent me something about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I told AK about it, and him and uh, Luke. I can't pronounce it. They're not happy. Rudowski. They are not. Rudowski. Rudkowski. Yeah, Rudowski. Yeah. Rudowski. Yeah. He's a, Rudowski. Yeah, I they're not Rudkowski happy about it. Because, because that's how it's spelled. Rudkowski. Right? They are yeah, it's pretty simple. And it's Polish. It's a Polish name. Yeah, they Rudowski. ain't happy. Yeah, no, everybody, make, everybody makes Luke fun of Luke. Luke. 
I love that guy, but uh, yeah, everybody yeah. everyone makes fun of him. It was uh, Booten's son. Because he looks like Putin. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's shit, cool. he's dude. Cool. I didn't yeah. even think of that. Yeah, yeah. You put two or two together. I can't believe like, they got slandered on the like national shooting state. airline. Can't believe it. But, uh, yeah, like, like Luke is awesome, but somebody somebody called him Putin's son. And it's just, man, it's just resonating with me. What? Like, man, that's fucking hilarious. Okay, well, see, yeah, now the mission, guess, now, see, now like the mission is to find out who's mom. Else like that. The mission I now is to find the likeness of the mom, right? So who AK's who is the mom you could AK's combine with Putin welcome. to get the likes of Luke Radowski? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. AK's welcome on this show anytime. He's welcome anytime. I told him that. <laughs> yeah, he's just welcome here. <laughs> well, the problem. Yeah. The problem. I so, honestly so, uh, like. What sucks about the radio universe is that once something happens, it's really hard to fix it. You know what I mean? So it might yeah, it might it take is. a little bit of while. But uh, honestly, like, yeah. I don't call into any yeah. radio show. I don't call any radio show uh, besides yours lately. Uh, Blue Vino, I'm not trying to uh, exclude you. I do call into your show a lot. Um, but typically, but uh, your busy. show, uh, Q Anonymous, it's... Um, typically been you and I. It's Cody, so, dude. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, we never screw this up. We never screw it up. Ever. <laughs> yeah. But, we have a lot of fun. So we how's the band going fun. so far? Whoa. Holy how's the band shit. going? The band going so far. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of material really nice that uh, we're, we've been sitting on. Honestly, we could probably do two albums. We could probably release two albums with the material we've got right now. Um, That's going to be like but, posthumously. Nice. When, when both of you guys are Posthumously actually, because I'm going to die. Because like, I'm, oh, I'm dead. I'm going to die. <laughs> every, every musical <laughs> recording artist eventually dies early, right? Skype. Maybe we have a lot of material. the reason you don't have a Skype, though. The pro- here's the deal. The problem is, this is what happens. If you don't know what it's like being a musician that creates your own music in your own fucking little laboratory in your basement, right, where you've got computers and fucking keyboards and all kinds of shit, um, the problem is you'll create a song on a whim, right, and then you'll really like that new song, and you'll forget all the other shit. And so you keep doing that, and you make wow. another one and another one and another one. And then you've got a pile of songs, another and you're one. like, fuck I gotta finish some of these because they have to actually go on an album at some point, right? And so here we are. <laughs> We're at a point where Scott's oh, got a shitload of material. I have a shitload of material, and between we all the two have of a us, shitload probably, of material. Yeah, like I said, we could probably release two albums. So, see, I don't, which, I don't understand how with the next you would be able to have go ahead. the constraint of going, okay, this song is good enough. Okay, you work on a great song, and you've been working on it for months, and it's like, okay, this is good enough. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you have so much unfinished material. Like, how do you finish it without, without just obsessing over each individual song? That, that blows me away, is that how you can put out, you know, 12 songs per album. What, you've, yeah. what, what you're three, two, two three albums deep question. now? We're too deep, um, oh. and like I said, we have wow. probably about two, two albums worth right now. At least of finished yeah. stuff, and that's that's like done. You can finished, make some decent even, money off your. Uh, you I have other stuff that's decent, not finished that I want to put money off your some of the next album, out. and that's the problem. Because if if I have stuff that's what good call it? that's not finished, and I'm like, oh, this has to go on the next album, I'm sitting on a mountain of material. But because I right. you're, I you're stumbled yourself, like, upon a newer you song, spend so much more time uh, perfecting. Yeah, I'm you know. Particular songs, you know what I mean. You can get lost in others. I understand Man. exactly where where you're coming from. You know, you two. I I keep getting like this banner on the top of the screen that says, "Excuse me." And oh, I hate the that. The holidays will be closed. Yeah, I keep oh, doing I hate that. that. I keep getting that shit. No, a blog yeah, talk is the worst that. when it comes to banners across the top. Like they drop down and you hit the X and it closes hey, it, yeah. right? <laughs> And it drops right back Bo, down. Does that remind and you're like, you what of, the uh, fuck? I already... Bo. Bo, remember what you said about those pop-up ads on the, the websites one? and Sky actually saying 
the you know on those news sites. Oh God! You know when you're looking on those news sites. Yeah. And yeah. Scott was talking about uh, shin for El Chapo tunnels. Still shit what about the, the El Chapo right? tunnels. What the fuck? <laughs> He's hearkening back, yeah. dude. He's hearkening back to a reference ah. we made incorrectly. Because we incorrectly let's, let's said... Let's talk about Shin in the tunnel. We said Chop... <laughs> what did we say? We said Chapo brand, and it was supposed El to be Chapo, Chapo Great. El Chapo brand tunnels. <laughs> El Chapo brand tunnels. But we... This is but it's supposed to be Chapo great. grade tunnels, yeah. right? That's what better we than Mexican meth 13. candles that I heard earlier today. Oh my god. No, Shin, I don't know if you know this, but I, I fucking... I take shit to the, the grave. So, like... I, I'll fucking go you, to the death to the strip? with this reference Dang. that you actually work for Two Chapo days. Grade Tunnel. We'll take you to the strip. What the fuck? And you're the you're the <laughs> representative. I'm gonna take that dude. I'm I'm yeah. till I'm dead. I'm gonna We're be gonna saying, take you to the strip. We'll if you need a tunnel, days. you gotta we'll call to this guy. Two days. He works Look, for Chapo Grade I'll Tunnel. I'll dig you. I just started learning, like, thinking about, like, brainstorming how to make the Mexican methamphetamine candle today. The Mexican meth candle. But I didn't think that I broke out El Chapo a year and a half ago. That's fucking great. Holy shit, Bo, uh, like, Bo, Bo, I even yeah, told dude, the shit about it was on this show. It was on this I very show. No, it was on this very show like a month ago yeah. when we were talking about Chapo's tunnels, yeah. right? Do you remember? Yeah, and then and like, I also fucking, told Shin... Uh, for some reason, you had a shitload of information, sorry, and I was like, on. that's because you're, you work for Chapo. As a sales uh, representative. Yeah, he said something or about ventilation tunnel. systems every 500 feet. He said something about that's ventilation of printed 500. material. It's fucking printed journalistic yeah. material. Oh, my God. So, uh, hey, Bo. <laughs> Bo, that episode is actually on YouTube now. That, uh, that, Bo's, uh, that episode is actually on my YouTube account now. It's on there. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's up there. Yeah, and I even told uh, Shin on our last one about the – remember that marijuana candy thing that Scott was talking about back on the blood bean? No. no. Nope. You know, about, Refresh my memory. Yeah. Talking about – Scott was talking about marijuana gummies and shit. Okay. I, Dude, your memory yeah, is so I think I was there for that quick one. and good. Have you noticed this? He remembers shit forever. Who, Scott? Yep. No, no, no. Me. Hey, you. Yeah, he remembers everything. Yeah. Dude. Ooh. He's like That's a vault. He's sober. You could tell him he something, and like four months later, he's like, dude, this little minor detail, remember that? And I'd be like, no, I don't. But. That's amazing. Yeah, it was. I can't show that. That, you were that is pretty good. It. I can't do that with spoken word. I can't do that with spoken word. You make a great during the live. Uh, he can do it with spoken word. Talk Boy anonymous flavored gummies. Yeah, like, Boy anonymous live show at the halfway portion. There's got to be a career yeah. there, <laughs> right? There's got to be a type of a career right For there what? that nobody's touched on. For what? That there should be a career. Like a guy that just remembers every fucking detail of things that were said, that would be perfect for yeah, like it's meeting called, it's called shit for corporate shit, right? Like he could he could go to like fucking meetings or be like the, the guy that's the right hand of whatever. You can and be listen. You can be like Nick Valentine from Fallout Four, and then he can be like, no, they said this, and then they said that, and then they said this. So that's what happened. You could be like, and Nick then fuck, they, they'd be caught. All right, right. Because in order to prove, in order to prove Cody wrong, they would have to take him to court. Yep. And if he knows right. his shit, he's got he like a, shit, it's like a photographic on memory air but for, over and over again. Verbiage. He p- keeps bringing up stuff that we said and we've done. Yeah, I think I and think we would have a very successful career. And he he eventually catches us That's in forgetting true. the shit that we've said. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yep. Yeah. I forget a lot of stuff I say on this show. I'm a guest. I don't have any responsibilities. Right. I'm fucking happy yeah. and fun, you know? I'm drinking and bullshitting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> same here, same yeah. here. So, I, am, I am very you know, inebriated I a bunch of shit. at this point. <laughs> yeah. And, you're, and I'm not, you better I'm not, not take drunk, your but, daughter to church camp. And you better not take your daughter to church camp because that's where the place where butt stuff happens. 
Yeah, we're we're both. Uh, that's not like going ten years to away, this. like fifteen years away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by then, Chambers by then, no one has to kill. Not with. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> not this time. Nope. Yeah, that's where it happened. We're not taking her oh, there, and that's not happening. We're not doing that shit. Uh, we're I tell shit. you what. I tried to. I tried to invite Princess, but she never came, which sucked. <laughs> that really sucked that That's she didn't fine. Come. They're busy. They're probably asleep. <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah, they, they had... they're always busy. Probably Princess is sleeping. I remember one time she came and she said something about her own weed or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> she was on weed or some shit. Oh, that's, not that's on the not surprising. <laughs> I honestly think probably like 74% of America smokes weed. Is that is, you think Except that's an accurate you. number, 74%? You don't smoke weed because you suffer from in the form of Hodgkin's disease. So I don't smoke weed. I uh, vape it. Bo can't smoke weed because he I has Bo Hodgkin's disease. So I, I don't really know. Yeah. Dude, rap, rap yeah, is Yeah, and worse. you hate rap. Rap is the fucking worst. It, it's worse Honestly, than though, country. So if you have the opportunity to uh, to vape, you know. The furnace uh, is rapping. Well, you better destroy that fucking Don't furnace. do it because you're going to die. And you're going to puke everywhere. Vape? And you might go to the hospital uh, for an overdose of THC. Yeah. Don't, don't vape it ever. Oh, fuck. <laughs> If well, anybody see, no, says see, that it's better than smoking, my, it here's, is better here's, than smoking it, but you're going to die because you're allergic to the shit. Furnace. My my body has yeah. a defense you mechanism. You cannot be invincible. Listen, my body has you a defense be mechanism to against idiot. certain chemicals. When it reaches a point to where it's too much, my body goes, "Okay, and they die. You're going to pass out, and that's it. You're going to pass out until this is over." And it is done through your system. The same thing goes with alcohol. Can't wake up. I can drink. I can drink. Fuck a lot. I can drink a lot. But even so, I don't puke hardly ever. I can't remember the last time I puked. I think the last time I puked was because uh, with the we drank too much Jack Daniels. It was the first time I drank Jack Daniels. I was underage, <laughs> working in a movie theater. Really? And we pounded the shit. Really? It was insane. It was fucking it was, insane. But since then, the movie theater story is with, really interesting. I think that's on a, a DTR episode uh, back in 2015. But yeah, that was a really interesting episode. Uh, no, but seriously, right? uh, Bo, like, like smoking pot is one thing. Like, it's great and it's fine and all that shit. But yeah, if you get the opportunity to, to vape it. Just pass it up. Don't do it. It's better than smoking it, sure, but it's so much more fucking pot than most people can usually handle. Just say, it's, it's just say no, kid. Just say no. So I would pass out just, for like a couple of days. From would anonymous out, radio. Vomit. But this, I, this, I, I, I heavily advocate say on, no uh, to drugs. Yeah, well, don't, don't do heroin, drugs. don't do crack cocaine, don't do methamphetamine. Yeah, do you know how many drugs. drugs there are? There are so many drugs. Do drugs, kids. Don't do it. I love drugs. I'm not saying do drugs. I'm drugs, just saying really? know drugs. your drugs. Know mm, your drugs. drugs. Right? Some people's yeah, drugs like is the Bible. An anti-drug campaign That's a right drug. now. <laughs> Some people's drug is politics. All right, everybody, we're, uh, well. we're about to go into the live show in about a minute. We'll catch you all on the live. We'll uh, we'll catch you all on the podcast, and, and everybody, we're going to be uh, have going to overtime about anybody's 60 listening, seconds. Yeah. So everyone listening live, with the exception of Bo and Shin, uh, this will all be on the podcast. Please dial. So we'll seven. see you next week. Please dial. Please dial three four seven four five five eight four one two eight five 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 only ninety seconds. Get to your job. Yeah. Three four seven eight five five eight four one two. Get to your job, bro. Yep, that's the number. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Yeah, both. Uh, So. (laughs) 
That's awesome, dude. Yeah, we, gotta, me and Shane on the last episode, we also, uh, uh, me and Shane on the last dude, you episode, you said me. that you gotta uh, add me. Aaron's cool. I already did. We I can add, I did. You were watching Skyrim. You already did it? Cool. Oh, nice. We, we also also add Bo Hotchkiss to the equation. Bo, you're also cool, along with uh, Aaron. Aaron, uh, AK what? is welcome on the show anytime. He, he's welcome. <laughs> You already said. I it. wish I had him on my show. So where, where we, I only had him on Man. this show once, and that was that when Zyrus was here, and I told you that already. I told I you that. Really right, right. That after, was bad. Then he just. Uh, yeah, after he, he was, was on, on my show, have, he, he got was, shadow banned. Did you know that? Like literally the day yeah, after he, came, he was on my show, he got shadow banned on Twitter. AK was only well, on the show. Literally, I, could argue that I saw and all of his shit. What? AK but, was only um, on my show for a few minutes until uh, Zyra screamed at him like to uh, hell, and and then he just left. And I muted it. Uh, they couldn't take out take the screaming, and then he left. And, and I said, yeah, Zyrus, I, I don't you better him. calm the fuck down." I told, I said to Zyrus when I muted him, Zyrus, are you the fuck down. That's Whoa. what I said. End it's statement. Up. It's breaking up. Hey, um, Do you want yeah. I want to, I want to just throw it out there. If, uh, if you would like to have uh, AK you? on your show again, do you like to have AK on your show again? Let's, let's talk a little bit later. He's busy. And, and we'll figure, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Whoa. We'll figure it out. Yeah, but yeah. Um, sorry. Moving on was kind of cool, but and eh. all right, moving on to some other. Did you hear that George Michael Zyrus died? will take over your show. Zyrus, Zyrus was kind of first out of Butte. You know, nah, if, if somebody's going to take over he my never, show, he never comes on this program anymore. Anyways, did you guys? That's fine. Hear? That's great. That's fine because I, I stopped putting him did live for for about three episodes. So good. he was sitting That's there good. quiet. He hasn't been here. He was sitting ever. there quiet, you know, for for his uh, with his hand raised for, I don't know, about six hours of his life. Three straight listening shows. Listening to my show. Wow. Yeah. So how long yeah. are your show? I'm not gonna I'm two not gonna hours? put him on air. Yeah, two no, hours. No, I wouldn't. How long show? I wouldn't do it. Yeah. After, dude, after yeah. knowing the guy Me for so long. Uh, after you know once, the big after thing. Once, and then you give him another try, and then he talks over your guests. It's over, you know. I'm sorry. I wouldn't I, let him on my yeah, show can't, ever. Can't do it. I wouldn't let him on my show ever. I wouldn't let him let him on after he made that death threat and after. Do you know the but, thing well, that was the final straw for me was the uh, what was it? Believe it or what not, was it? believe it or not, the final straw with him for me was I sent him an article about dolphins. About dolphins. Possibly being sentient. And he fucking lost what? his goddamn mind. Because, listen, because, Obviously. okay, here's the logic that he's, right. he's following. Me saying that dolphins are sentient means that the Japanese people are bad. Why? Because they kill them on an annual basis. So if I say that Obviously. dolphins are sentient, then that means that they're like people. Right? So that means I am saying the Japanese people are bad, and he loves Japanese culture. Mind you, he claims to be an anarchist, yet he doesn't seem to uh, He's an care that, you know, Japanese an people are not anarchists. They have a government. I don't understand that exactly, in my own opinion, why the fuck he's so he's fond of the Japanese culture – when they have a government, he's and also he a private to be an anarchist. Well, Nudist. it just tells also me that he's Nudist. the kind of person that likes to smell uh, used panties. Like, actually, wants to buy them from from vending machines. You know, he's that kind of person, right? You know, yeah. that's that's Japanese just, culture. Cyrus is also, like this shit, you know, I could, buy used panties from from a vending machine, and then sniff them on the subway on the way home, so you can you know jack off to your that's hentai porn. And that's that's wow. that's the kind of person that uh, you were dealing with. So, yeah, pretty much. I'd, yeah, I'd and he's assume, also a imagine, private nudist too. Added to that. 
What do yeah, you mean private, private nudist? nudist? That's a weird we're all private thing nudist. to say. A private nudist? Christ. Yeah. I mean, like, when I yeah. take a shower, I'm private, private and right. I'm nude. I'm, I'm a private nudist. I'm totally in the shower, private as fuck, <laughs> nude as fuck. <laughs> No, 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 that way. way. No, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not a public nudist. Not that, not because that, that way. equals sex offender registry. So I'm very much, <laughs> exactly. I'm very I'm much in that direction. for for the equality no. of <laughs> private nudists in the United States of America. And I'm going to pick it for that. I would pick it for yeah, that. Yeah, and all he does, <laughs> all he does, every single, every single uh, thing is like, your creepiness. <laughs> but let's just stop doing the criticism part and go on to the George Michael death part. Apparently he died of heart he's, failure. He's today. dead. He's ultra gay and he's ultra dead. George That's... Michael is dead. Ultra. Sorry. Anyways, ultra anyways. gay. No, uh... Ultra dead. <laughs> We need a we need an Alex Jones gay frog George Michaels is dead fucking conspiracy theory. Uh, go in. and I want to inform everybody about the George Michaels sex child ring with gay people. You know, sort of Mexico City. Sounds like pizza gay right there. When George Michael like visited gate. Mexico City for a concert, and he did a concert and he had gay <laughs> sex afterwards. This is Infowars <laughs> coming to you live. <laughs> Alex Jones, oh, you're wrong. All right, no, uh, seriously, no. George <laughs> Michael, he was he was actually great. He was oh, a pioneer. Shit. He was a pioneer of modern music today, modern pop, uh, pop music. Yeah. And uh, I'm not he gonna died say, of heart you know, failure. I don't know the guy personally. I don't know the guy personally. You know, so I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm so fucking saddened by his death. You know, I'm devastated. No, I'm not. You know, I don't know the guy personally. But uh, mm, I, no, I appreciate, wouldn't feel devastated I appreciate either. what he Not did me. for music. I appreciate what he did for music. And uh, uh, everybody mm. should watch the movie Keanu. Because George Michael is a oh, real gangsta the nigga motherfucker. The one. Gangsta nigga motherfucker. Oh, you mean the Listen one with those guys George trying Michael to find a gangsta cat? You mean that one? Yeah, yeah. And they're, and they're yeah, like, yeah. George Michael? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's great. This is George Michael, motherfucker. What the fuck you think you fucking listen to, you motherfucker, <laughs> bitch? Shit. This gangsta ass nigga shit right here, right Man, now. Man, George shit. Michael. Oh, shit. Holy yeah, it's shit. great. Oh, it's great. It's great. You should watch the Like, George I, I Michael is. Totally, I watched it. Totally. How, how many stars like, would you put up give on a that? pedestal? Uh, Keanu? I don't know. Like, like, uh, all right, so, so the first 45 minutes is bullshit, but as soon as they switch whoa. to, you know, from, from being like. Uh, the white black people, you know what Bullshit. I mean? As soon as they switched into like, right? Like, like pretending like they're fucking straight ass gangsta niggas, like do, fucking do, do, do. six and a half out of out of. Whoa, holy seven. fuck! <laughs> you know, I'm really, what? I'm still starting to hate this blue bar. I'm really starting to hate it. It's like those YouTube ads that don't go away. I don't want to worry about it. Just Nobody telling. listening to this podcast. Yeah, it's really an annoying. So you got to pretend everyone right. listens right. to so it. Nobody, ever. nobody's gonna have any interaction with what you're listening to besides what you're listening to. So you got to yeah, the best, yeah, obvious. The best way to do these shows is to pretend screen. like nobody else is listening because. Yeah, for one, point. it's way more entertaining like we do. if you're doing it candidly, right? Um, because that's yeah. that's actually the thing that people want to hear is candid conversation. Um, which yeah. that's the thing that you know the the uh, media doesn't understand. Uh, the, the media doesn't yeah. understand that candid conversation Ma- is actually Ma- the gold Ma- mine of media. Mainstream media is full of lies. Mainstream media, and you're lucky well, yeah, enough it's, to have it's a, full of like you're lucky enough to have a hot guy on your show too ideas. because he's candid as fuck. Who is? I mean, they insulted we you, are Chad Stakes. You put me and you on a show, but Bo, uh, Bo, Bo Hotchkiss. I keep on wanting to call you Blue right. Vino, but Blue. that's your that's your Twitter handle. It's fine. It's a it's a band that hey, it's a free plug for the band. Go ahead. Right. 
It's a progressive yeah, rock I mean, band. It's a progressive rock band. No, I totally listen to Blue Beetle's music. They're available on YouTube. You know, get a sample on YouTube and totally buy their albums. They're available on they Amazon. They are not on. You can, you can buy them hopefully on iTunes. In the, you can, yeah. Hopefully in the future we can come, Bo and uh, Bo can come up with a new theme song in the future. That's a, that's a dream. Yeah, a new theme song. Yeah. <laughs> the Spingley you know thing. Our, I mean, our, it says, one of our big goals is, the our, one of our big goals is to play Anarchapulco. What's that? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Right? To go to the anarchist uh, what's conference. What's Anarchapulco? The worldwide anarchist conference in Acapulco. Where's called that? Called Anarchapulco. That's in that what, September? So awesome. I That's have no idea one. when it is. I think it's about but, I think it's like September, October. Wow. If we could do it if they when's would offer the, uh, I don't even know how to get the information the, to be like, hey, we would love to perform when, but I don't know what we would do because we don't have a band. When D C the electric carnival, when all the kids get arrested for doing drugs. I have no idea. When you yeah, when you get when you get drunk outside the bar before you go in the bar. I get drunk at home. <laughs> yeah, it's so right. much no, safer. that's what people did at EDC. That's what people do at EDC. They because get, they're stupid. And then they get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> then they fucking bow call and then they pay off is. their debt. Because they're fucking stupid. They're stupid. They're fucking stupid. <laughs> They're stupid. You know how fuck. cheap it is to get drunk at home? It is so cheap. <laughs> what? You can buy right. a bottle of vodka, yeah. a huge bottle of vodka for eight dollars. It'll last you four days if you we... want to get plastered for four days. Right. Yeah. So we got moonshine upstairs to to in my. Uh, what do you, what do you spend for a, a shot at a bar? Like four dollars. For one shot? I spend, right, right. A little uh, overkill. $4 for one shot or, or $5 Boom. for a bottle of Budweiser? Really? $5 Bo- for uh, a bottle of Budweiser. Yeah. And I got to think of a tip for a Texas Roadhouse. Ever heard of a place called Texas Roadhouse? Ever heard of a place called Texas Roadhouse? It's in the, of it's kind of like the bar section of things. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I got a, a chain. A That's the one with the peanuts. Yeah, thirty-five dollar uh, like a bucket of peanuts. Yeah. Actually, I got a uh, a metal bucket full of peanuts and a thirty-five dollar gift also for Christmas. Right. Nice. Oh, hey, that's not bad. That's a good place. They got good food. Yeah. Um, I mean, it yeah, depends on one. where you're we at because, like, sometimes they're so busy that the waitresses can't keep up. And that's not their fault. They, got, they need uh, to be paid better to be able to pay more attention they, because, you know, they. it's one of those weird things. Like, it's a restaurant ass. business type of thing. And if they're super duper busy, yeah. right, the, the waitresses are getting that's paid busier nothing. Than, uh, and then they're expected to get more. tips, yet they can't even fucking pay attention to all the tables they have because they're stretched so thin. So wow. it's one of those things, like, this is where the free market uh, has failed. We don't have a free market, but hmm. if it were a free market, this is one of the avenues that has failed is Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, definitely. So we got less than a minute. Definitely. We got less than a minute on the show. Uh, we got less than a minute left in the happy, program happy in general. Happy Saturnalia oh. to everybody. Um the tree that we yeah, bring into the house Christ- based on Nordic uh, Merry Christmas, religion. everybody. Merry um, Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas from Merry Anonymous Christmas Radio. Over Merry, you. Merry over Christmas. You, Blue Vino. There you go. Thank you. Happy, Thank you. Happy Saturnalia. Saturnalia. And I hope you year. burn a Yule log to on Odin. The- and uh, and we'll see you next yeah, week on the same show, on the same place, and the same time at 10 p.m. Hey, thanks for having the show tonight. This, this is this is good. This yeah, is good. <laughs> this is fun. Place, same fun. time, yeah. same new laptop. 
All and right. thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank, thank you, Bo and Chin. Thank you, Bo and Absolutely. Chin, for appearing on this episode of Anonymous Radio. Thank you very much Absolutely. for your appearance. All right. Well, I will be. <laughs> editing